Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Vicious here with the widescreen gaming forum. Today I'm going to be taking you along for another widescreen multi-monitor feature video. Today we're looking at Wings of Prey. This is a uh, pretty neat flight game. You have a lot of different stuff here from online with multiple other players, uh, arcade settings, simulator settings, and somewhere in between. So it's got a little something for everybody. I've already got it set up right now in iFinity. We're running 5940 by 1200 pixels. And I'm at the main menu. Looking at the camcorder footage, you'll see that it's centered and everything is proper. It's extending just slightly past the bezels. This is a 1610 monitor, so when it's extending just past like this, that usually means that the original screen was based on 16:9 aspect ratio. If I go into the options, this game let me directly set up. Actually, there's a launcher that started before I started the game. It lets you manually pick your resolution. Uh, so I had no problem picking the resolution and all the aspect ratio stuff was automatic so I didn't have to worry about that. To show you how the game plays I'm just going to go into these single missions here and just start to fly around and show you what the game looks like. All the menus are going to act the same so that all the menus are fine. And let's see, I've only played this game a little bit and I've hooked up my joystick for the first time today thinking it'd make it easier for me but really I'm not that great at this. Warsaw, Battle of Berlin, let's see. Stalingrad, that sounds interesting. Let's do it. So here we go, difficulty level. Arcade's the easiest. Realistic is somewhat in between arcade and sim. And then simulator is like, you better know what the hell you're doing. And then custom, you can set your own options. We'll stick with arcade. We'll give myself the best possible choice of surviving. Alright, so here's my plane. You can change the views. You have cockpit view. It's extended on the sides. Inside, extended on the sides. And the third person type view. Everything's extended. So if you were playing this game with just one monitor, you'd see exactly what I see in my center monitor. And if you're playing on multi monitors, then both of the side monitors are going to be giving you extra footage. So I like this, this view here. I've used the keyboard in conjunction with the joystick to figure out what's going on. Alright, we're flying. We need to take out these cannons down here. I'm being shot at, so... I really haven't spent enough time... Um, ...setting up controls for this game, as I should. So I don't really have, like, the lock-on map or anything like that. <laughs> shot down in no time like this. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see when you're shot down, you get to see a beautiful crash on the fucking monitors. <laughs> Alright, let's get back in the air. Here's my gunner cam. Let's see. Target select, there we go. Actually, a lot of stuff's behind me, so we'll just try to do... There we go. Find out the most professional... Whatever maneuver that's called, redo half a loop and then turn. Trying to find... Closest target. There's one right there. Alright. There's another just off this way. A little bit of rudder here. There we go. Beat. 
So yeah, I've been thinking about getting into the flight stuff a little bit more. Triple monitors is uh, obviously ideal for enjoying this kind of stuff. And it's not nearly as hard to hook up a joystick as it is the, uh, the racing wheel and everything for the racing games. So I'll probably be bringing more of these videos soon with like um, IL-2 maybe. Oh god, I'm gonna crash into this thing. Maybe flight simulator, who knows? There's a couple of different things I could do. Gosh, I suck. Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna crash into the ground. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make you watch me do this entire mission. I'm just it'll take too much time. Basically, we're here just to evaluate, evaluate the uh, multi-monitor ability here. And as you can see, everything is 100% supported in this game. Resolutions are all supported. Automatic uh, aspect ratio correction based on how many monitors and how wide your setup is. It has a great performance even when recording. I'm still getting a pretty good frame rate here. So yeah. Definitely check out Wings of Prey, guys, if you're interested in a pretty good flight game. Multiplayer, single player, single missions, good flight tutorials to teach you what to do. And it has plenty of controls. Let me show you that real quick as well. You get to invert your axis and all those great things. You can change all of the sensitivities. Lots of stuff here. Then when you go into the control section itself, you have your device mapping where you can set your Elevator axis, your rudder axis, the aileron, I don't know how you say that, the throttle axis, camera axis, all of this stuff can be assigned manually. And then when you go into your actual key mapping, you have all these other controls here as well. So it works with game pads, it works with the keyboard and mouse, it works with joysticks, and you can use them in conjunction with each other. So definitely no, no shortage of ability in this game to set up things the way you would like and, and have a good experience with it. So I hope this video was good enough to show you what this game's like when you're playing a multi-monitor. And this was Vicious, and I'll see you guys later.